quick tutorial on how to do graphing in Google Sheets. So you want to start by putting your independent variable in your first column. Make sure that you do have the correct title with units, and then you want to do your second column as your dependent variable. Again, the labels need to be done in advance so that the graph will generate the correct labels and you don't have to edit them later. Then you want to go insert charts once you've selected your data. And depending what it comes, it may automatically tell you scatter chart to begin with. Uh, but if you're looking for a trend and it gives you something else like line to begin with, I suggest you just find the option where it says scatter so that you can see your data points. Okay, then we want to add a trend line. So to do that, you go to the Customize option, and then you scroll down until you see that option, Trend Line. So the nice thing about a trend line is it tries to represent an average of your data, and so you'll see that it doesn't necessarily touch every data point. It finds the average. Sometimes it does touch, and that's what we want with a trend line. Now, most of the time it is linear, and then you can actually go a little bit further down and you can choose this option of label use equation and it will tell you the equation of that line of your uh, line of best fit or trend line and so you'll see that's in the format of y equals m so this 2.13 is your slope and then x the x variable plus and then over here is your c which would be your y intercept now, let's just take another quick look at another one. Let's say I have this data, and I insert my chart. And when I take a look at it, and I try to add my trend line, go back to series, go to trend line, and I can see that actually this trend line doesn't really match the data that I'm seeing. If I were to erase that, I would kind of see, well, there's some, seems to be like some curvature going on here. So what I can do is, I can ch under the type, I can choose different types of trend lines. And then I can see, oh, this one is actually quite good. Maybe I'll use an exponential. Um, and you can just sort of go through the list and see you know, which ones work for you and match your data. And you can see some don't. And you can just try to settle on the best one. And oops, sorry. And then once you get the best one, you can also, again, use the equation and it would tell you the equation of that line.